Um, well, Sister Ann Flanagan is a daughter of St. Paul. You've seen her here on their Christmas concerts on Catholic TV. And today she joins us to talk about the release of Songs of My People, sung by the Servant of God, Sister Thea Bowman. Uh, Sister, thank you so much for being with us. It's such a joy. It's a different, different experience, but I'm <laughs> very happy to be here. Yeah, this is how it is now. Everything is is via the internet. Um, so, uh, but you know what? It's uh, w I'm sure people are thrilled to see you. Well, back in 1988, the Daughters of St. Paul invited Sister Thea to record an album in Jamaica Plain Studios. Um, and right. you were actually in 1988 there at the at uh, there, and I was newly stationed here, and I remember it well because the whole community got called together, and we were we were very sternly advised. <laughs> Mr. Thea Bowman is coming. She's going to record an album in our new studio. The musicians are being flown in from Cincinnati, New Orleans, and Washington, D.C. They're handpicked by her. She is very, very ill. Therefore, you will give her a lot of space. You will not crowd in on the studio to, you know, like bother the sister while she's here. You will not fangirl all over her. They didn't use that expression. But you will not be, like, watching through the studio windows. You give her lots of space, just let her do her work, and, you know, pray for the project. So we were, we were just, you know, kind of on our best behavior and giving her lots of space because she was actually dying of cancer mm -hmm. through this whole project. Um, the last five years of her life, she was just being consumed with cancer, but her... Her attitude was, I'm going to live until I die. And she was going to do her music ministry as long as God gave her that, that opportunity. And he, she, you know, the cancer was going everywhere in her body except her voice. Mm -hmm. And when you hear that voice, it, it, this was a year and a half before she died. And she was in a wheelchair in the studio. They set a cot up in our studio so that in between the takes, when her co-producer, Leon C. Roberts, who died just nine years after she did, he would, he would see her at a certain point that she was beginning to fail. And he would say, okay, sister, it's time for you to take a rest. And she'd be, no, I can do it. I can do it. And he's like, sister, we're going to take a break, and you are going to go and rest. And the cot was right there in the recording studio so she could lie down and, and take that, that needed rest. But she powered through and recorded... At the time, it was two albums, an album of spirituals and then an album of traditional spiritual Christmas song that she had learned from her elders in the African-American community in Mississippi where she grew up. It's, it's incredible to hear, after 30 years, to hear these songs again, uh, to hear the power in her voice, to hear the passion in her voice, to to reread the stories that she told about these songs. I mean, her grandparents were slaves. And this was her religious education, hearing these songs sung by the elders in her community and absorbing the messages of faith from the people who were living, living these in their own, you know, kind of embodied experience of faith and kind of carrying that through and then handing it on to the next generation. and. It just couldn't be more timely to, to receive this, the 30th anniversary year of Sister Thea's death, to be able to re-release her voice into the world in a digital format. It's, it's an incredible moment of grace for us in our mission. Sister Anne, you know, at that time, a, a, as you've mentioned, Sister Thea, who, by the way, is a member of the, I believe, the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration, uh, she was, right. so, she was so, so ill, but yet... How you were with her, you saw her, you conversed with her. How was she able to, to find the energy, the spiritual energy, despite her illness, to be able to lay down this whole collection? And what was it about her? She had a mission, and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, you know, puts the power of the resurrection in our bodies to get the Word of God out. And I think that that's what was happening. It was like, this was the power of the risen Jesus working in, a, in her broken body to, to preach the gospel. Um, you know, there was an archbishop who found out she was recording here, 
And he showed up at the front door and for a, a private meeting with her. And, you know, okay, so he goes up to, she had a guest room in, in our infirmary. And he has a private tete a tete with Sister Thea. And then he's, he's leaving, and the sister who's the doorkeeper oh, goes to the door to let him out. He turns to her and said, She's a saint. I hope you realize that. Hmm. So I think we're seeing the power of the Holy Spirit when we release ourselves to God. Hmm. Hmm. It's God's power. Well, uh, what was your favorite track, sister? Um, my personal favorite track is Deep River. And that's why you can, if you go to our, web, our website, which is calling.org slash Thea, that's, that's the free download. <laughs> I got to choose it. Like that's my favorite, so that's the one you get to listen to for free. Um, but I love all of them. I love listening to the choral songs. You get this pump and deep bass of Jerome Alexander from New Orleans, and uh, that that adds so much richness. Um, just there's a wide selection of the songs, and it's just an it's an incredible album. Uh, now it's only it's only released in, in digital format because that's that's where we are now. Uh, it's a kind of, I don't know if you can even say this now, it's a two-album collection, the spirituals and the Christmas songs. We could say whatever we want, sister. <laughs> you know, they're not really CDs, but, it, you know, they're packaged as digital as if they were. Well, sister, um, unfortunately, we're out of time. It's the only professional oh. recording. Where can people find it? Right at the Daughters of St. Paul web store, which is <laughs> pauline.org. Slash Thea, T H E A. And you'll be able to listen to that song, listen to a couple of interviews with one of her spiritual sons, and uh, order the, the music right there. Well, sister. The download, and it's incredible. We're, we're hearing a little of it now. Thank you so much, as always, for being with us and Enjoy it. for what the daughters do. You guys do a great job. We're big fans. Pray for us, pray for vocations, okay? We'll we do. certainly will. Thanks, sister. Have Thanks, a great sister day. Thanks, sister, and God bless.